Hi, I'm Adam from DoingADrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to use audio in After Effects. A seemingly simple concept as it might be, After Effects is not always that intuitive. To insert the audio, you just simply go up to, to the file and then import and then file. Then you can just select a, um, a sound file that you want to import from the menu, click open and it'll appear over here in your project library. Now when you have your sort of the composition that you'd like to import it to, you just simply take the audio, drag it, drop it into the timeline, it'll create a layer and that's how you insert audio into your composition. Now that's pretty simple you might be thinking, but if you hit the space bar and you know have a preview then you might be you know, can you hear that? And neither can I because there's, there's no sound there. If you want to listen to the sound in playback, you have to use the RAM preview button over here, and you press that, and that will render the video into the RAM, so you can play it back in real time, which is what this green line here is for. When you play it, and sort of the green line appears, it's a bit slow and juddery, and then when you play it again with where over the green line, it'll be real time. That's because it's rendered it into RAM. Now if you use this button, it will also play it with the audio. There we go. And that's how you use audio in After Effects. One of the most important things, though, when you are working with audio is when you render the video, and you go down to your output mode, make sure audio output is checked because it isn't by default, and then you know you'll end up rendering your video and it won't the audio won't be there and you'll be very annoyed and you'll have to go do it all over again, which I have had to do many a times. It's very annoying. Um, any other tips that I can think of? After Effects doesn't have great functionality with audio. I mean, it'll do the job, but I'd suggest if you wanted to, if you're going into post-production and to put it into maybe Premiere Pro or whatever you'd like to use, then maybe adding the audio there, because you can change the volume and you can add compression and a few simple effects there. But After Effects does the job if you just want to make a quick artifact with a bit of sound, that's fine. I'd also like to note that somebody told me they had a problem with MP3s in After Effects. Now I'm just going to import a completely random MP3 that's just, you know, coincidentally by my band in Terrorbang. And then I'm just going to drag it down to the timeline, put it in. I'll mute the one that I just did and, and preview this. As you can see there, the green line's going across as it's rendering the video. And MP3 MP3s work fine as well. I've been Adam from DoingADrama.com and I've just shown you how to use audio in After Effects. <laughs>